Welcome back to my channel, Diamond in the Rough Resale. My name is Dara, and I am going to share with you the epic haul of items that I got over the past week or so, thrifting and everything. I have boxes and boxes and bags and bags of stuff because I got really far behind and I'm very addicted to thrifting. Yes, very addicted. And I've probably spent too much, but that's kind of the way the cookie crumbled this week. But I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to try to break it into a couple of different videos. And today I think I'm going to start with one of my trips or both of my trips. I don't know. It's not really sorted. There's no method to this madness. But I'll start with the trip to I made to the bins. Okay. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start. <clears throat> I don't remember how much I spent. Probably like 40 some dollars and I got so much stuff. Anyway, the first thing here is this lovely little piece of garden art. It's like a little tiny trellis and when items are large like this at my bins see it goes together like that it makes a little trellis large items like this at my bins are only two dollars so since it was heavier than a pound I'm like okay yeah, that's a two dollar item okay then I got this lovely little shelf very cute springs coming up people are going to be thinking about their gardens um, I'm pretty sure that all of this is gonna go in my booth This old kitchen stuff tends to do very well in my booth. This is just a little metal sifter, little aluminum sifter. Um, these are little lightweight pieces of wood I can make signs out of. Those are kind of for me. Oh, there was like a whole bunch of brass. I'm not a very big fan of bells, but I ended up with these few bells here. This little brass bell. This little brass bell. This one with the sweet little angel on the top. Is that an angel or is that Tinkerbell? That actually kind of looks like Tinkerbell, so I'll... Very cute. We'll look that up. Then there's this teeny tiny little brass pelican. It's cute. There's more stuff. I think there's another bell here. Another bell. Another bell. A double bell. Ooh, that hurt my ears. Another bell. And another bell. <laughs> Got a lot of little brass bells here. I like it. This is a little brass um, votive, not votive. Well, it could be a votive, but, or a pillar holder. It's a candle holder. It's got a lot of little flowers and scroll work. It's very pretty. Let's see. There's this cute little box, this little brass box here. It's a little bit bent. I need to fix that up a bit. Here is a, it's a newer one. It's made in China, handmade in China, exclusively for heart and home collectibles. It's food safe, but it's a little like enamelware, white enamel shaker for like Parmesan cheese or whatnot. And I got some stuff for the kids. I have to wash them. There's a little baby Minecraft pig. Throw it over there. There is a little white Minecraft sheep. Needs to be washed, definitely. Then there's a foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. We've got a small foxy, but this is a bigger foxy, which will go with our bigger Freddy and with the bigger Bonnie, who's coming in the mail today. <laughs> Here's another little sifter thing. Aluminum sifter. This might be from my collection. I don't know. I'm collecting little cats. It's just plastic. It's like a... I can't even tell because it has the cardboard backing. But anyway, it's a little kitty cat, a little plastic kitty cat. This I need to fix. Um, it is a Fenton Bell. It has the signature in here, hand painted by, I can't read the name. But yeah, this is a sweet little Fenton Bell. I need to clean it up and it didn't have the dinger. Yes, Doug. I think I can read that name for you. You think so? I think. Why don't you come in and pick me? That's on the inside. <clears throat> but around here, I have another little dinger that I may have stolen out of a different bell that was in there that I didn't want to buy, but I stole the dinger. <laughs> oh, this is a back scratcher. This is for us. Because, you know, everyone loves their back scratched. Then I've got four of these. These are like aluminum slash pewter drinking mugs with glass bottoms. 
I have four of them. I already have one in my booth. Draw more attention to it if I have more of them. Got some stuff in here too, hang on. Okay, there's the fourth. Then I have this for my walls because my children like to, hey, it's snowing. My children like to draw on the walls with pencils. So I'm gonna see if this will help because all of our small erasers are not doing the job. Yes, what does it say? Uh, it says hand painted by a ENW. Okay. But I have no idea who that is. And this is a little spongy stenciler thingy. That's for me too. Okay. Yeah, this says, you bring happiness to all around you and warmth to all you do. Here's love because you're special. Here's love because you're you. That's very sweet. It's little flowers in a little farmhouse. And I don't know. I'll have to look up the Fenton signature database. Then there's this. It's a sweet little plastic box. Um, it plays Swan Lake. It has a lovely little gold swan painted on it. And it's a jewelry box slash music box. And there's a pretty little mirror inside. It is missing the top that would have covered the music box, but I love it, it's adorable. Then there's this, it's this little brass doll bed. And I went back and forth on this cause it's missing a lot of stuff. It's missing the little, see how this one has a little ball cover. It's supposed to have those there and there and there and there, but it's cute and lightweight. So I grabbed it. Cool. Now, Save that because I've got my whole big bin of glass here too. But I did grab a few more metal things and a couple of trays. I'm planning on crafting with these trays, little wooden tray. I'm gonna paint it and like do something stencil on the inside, maybe. I'm getting the itch to craft and I tend to accumulate a lot of materials to craft with and then I it ends up in a pile and I do it eventually, but not always. Um, this is just a really pretty tin. It's not particularly old, but I like the look of it. That was loud. I like the look of that. And there's a couple of these little tart. I think you can make individual like strawberry shortcakes or something out of those. Then there's these guys. Several of these. Hold on a second. I got a couple of these. Yeah, like I said, this old aluminum kitchenware stuff does really well in my booth. There's three of these. Like a cheesecake pan. There's this. What on earth is this? Okay. Well, somebody had crafted on this already and I didn't notice. Somebody decoupaged that, so whatever. I can get that off of there. It's not a big deal. But yeah. Little pans, very cute. Sorry, dog. Here is a, just a cute little pitcher. It doesn't have a lid or anything, but I like the scroll work on the handle. It is International Pewter. And then there's this tray. It is not old. It was $7.98. I don't know, but I thought that I liked it and I thought it would go do well in my booth. I might paint it, I might not. I'll probably end up painting it. And then there's this one. This one will be fine as is in my booth and I might just do that so I don't get overwhelmed with my crafting supplies. I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, now I have a box of glass. I'm first gonna open up this box. It's not the music box that it says it is. I had to get a box and I could pay $2 for this because it was a set of stone eggs. Yellow, purple, darker blue, another darker blue. There's a green one and an orange one and a pink one. And they're fantastic. And I already have some in my office that I'm gonna bring down to my booth. Cat. And perfect for Easter. And they've got some stickers on them. I don't know. I like them. I think they'll do well. Ooh. Okay. 
Now for the glass. Okay, some of the stuff I grabbed as a last kind of minute thing. I looked at it, but then I didn't, re I wasn't really sure, but then I was like, hey, doesn't, I'm going to get them. It's a dad and a mom mug, and the handle for the dad is a pipe, and the handle for the mom is like a boot, I think. Doug, do you think that's a boot? Uh, like a high heel boot? I think that looks mm -hmm. like a boot. And there are little faces in the mom and the dad, and then the bottoms are marked 1217 and 1216. This one has a small chip on the bottom, but you know, they're kind of cute. I haven't looked them up yet, so I don't know what they are, if uh, anything. The dad handle kind of looks like one of those old fashioned pipes. It is, I think, yeah. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this isn't. Actually, I think this might be paper mache, but it's just a little mounted egg. I think I have two of these in here somewhere. But, you know, Easter's coming, and I love Easter's. I've got a few of these. These are Churchill, England. Just cute little, like, light colored speckleware pottery mugs. Pretty. I think I have four. Two, three, four. Yeah. Right, here's the other egg. The little mounted egg. It's got a little child on it with a big old sun hat. Really sweet. Oh, five so far. Five of these mugs so far. Six of these mugs. Yay! Even number. Six of these mugs. Then there were these. They have stands. They are little votive holders. Dream, Inspire, Hope. And I wasn't going to grab them, but then I did. So. Those are fine. Oh yeah, and these do have these stoneware. They do have saucers as well. Matching saucers. So I have all of those. I'm gonna wait for that one. What's this? Now, it's been over a week since I've been to the bin, so these have been sitting in my hallway for a while. Oh, Fiesta. This is a Fiesta mug. This is like a maroon color, maroon, brownish, burgundy, maybe. It's hard to tell on this light. And there are two of those in here somewhere. This, I'm gonna find the top of that other one. Yes. <laughs> is a bunny cotton ball holder and you pull out the cotton balls from the base and it's really really cute and Aww. I love it. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, in here. Oh, there's the other Fiesta mug. How's the brightness on that, Doug? Is my video too bright or does it look okay? Uh, it actually looks a tiny bit dim. You can turn it up a little bit if you want to. Oh, like this way? Yeah, that one. Oh, other way. How is that? Uh, this one looks good. Is it all right? Cool. Yeah. Thank you. We can edit this part out. Oh, yeah, I can edit everything I do. <laughs> A little melt glass vase. Plain. Fun. Melt glass cells. And there is... Ooh. Oh, these were cute. This, these two little cups. I don't know, they might even be playware tea set, something or other. I don't know. They'd be cute with a succulent in them. Well, this is for your tea bag or your yeah, tea bag or a spoon rest. And it's from Dublin, out of Shamrock Gift Company in Dublin, Ireland. Irish look. Yeah, it's may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. Very sweet. St. Patty's Day coming up. Have a small St. Patty's Day section. These need washed like crazy. I think somebody had these planted because this one has a Sansevieria, mother-in-law's tongue. Like that. I think they had plants in them. I'm not sure, but I like them. I think they're USA pottery. Yeah. Or at least made in USA. I like those. So I'll clean them up and sell them as mugs if I can get them clean enough. Cat's tail is showing up in the picture. What's showing up? The cat's tail. Yeah, that's all right. She shows up in all sorts of stuff. <gasps> this guy, he needs touched up. He's got some paint missing, but he doesn't have any major chips. 
which was great because it's just like a chalkware lion. And I don't see any marks or anything like if it's from a mold company, but isn't he gorgeous? A sweet little lion. I just love him. <laughs> He'll be easy to touch up with a little bit of craft paint. Okay, now I have some, they had this whole set. I love how this looks. This is a Mikasa, M-I-K-A-S-A, -A, Stonecraft, oven to table for dishwasher. It looks fantastic. A-V-I-T-R-A, Avitra, Avitra. But I love the pattern on that. So I grabbed the platter. And I have a creamer from it. And I think I have the sugar in here too. We'll find it. That's not it. I think this is it. Nope. <laughs> Well, anyway, I've got the creamer, and if I have the sugar, it's in here. I'm pretty sure I grabbed the sugar. Here, hello. Little yellow vintage glass. There's so much drinkware in my booth, I swear I should. But it sells. Okay. It's another one. I have two. I'm trying to stay away from single mugs. I've bought some single mugs and put them in there too. And some of them sell, some of them don't, but yeah, I'm trying to do at least little sets. Some people are more apt to buy them if there's a little set. Okay, I have some, these are just from Target, made in China, but they're salt and pepper, they're little owls, and they're very sweet. Here is another milk glass vase. This one is hobnail. It's marked, but it's very, like, I don't want to say it's worn down. It's just not a very clear mark, but it doesn't matter. Milk glass, fabulous. Then there's this. Oh, it needs to be cleaned. It is like someone had it in their kitchen and it is like greasy. But this is, yeah, it's a original California Earth King Originals. Something like that. And it's just a little cute scalloped yellow dish. I love it. Oh, don't keep in. I've got this is an Otagiri little bud vase. It's very pretty. This is just a sweet little creamer. I don't think this was supposed to have a lid, but this would be great with a succulent. It looks like a little cottage. And there's a couple things in here. There's a little Yoda minifig. Put that right in the toy box. Here is a winder. It's a music box winder. I needed one for a music box that I have. And then we've got a little tiny brass pill box and it has a moon on it. Weighs like nothing. You cannot go wrong. What else did I get there? What else goes to this? I think this box here. Okay, I'm gonna move these things off of here really quick. Go through this box, which I know is the bins. I don't. I think this is a different trip to the bins. And I think this is it because I went twice last week because because I could, so I did. Oh jeez. I think yes. This was a different week, but still bins. Oh yeah, these two boxes both are bins. Okay, from the second trip. I got a different platter, another stoneware platter that matched on a different day, which I thought was pretty cool. This box is not bins. This box is Salvation Army. This box is bins. Okay. Oh, Nori. Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay, so second set of bins. I got some more trays. These are nesting trays, and I'll probably just leave these as is because they're cute. They're cows and little nesting trays. Very cute. 
I got a set of kind of retro napkins. I like them. Party House, designed by Kala, K-A-L-L-A. Copyright 1981. Boomer. Stop with the mouth noises. Dogs and their mouth noises. Okay. There are four of these. One, two, three, four. Tin red buckets. I'm not really sure why I grabbed them, but I like them, so why not? And in here, I have a new tennis ball for the dog. Boomer. He looks confused. I have a little set of silver coasters. They are silver plated on, electroplated on steel. There are five of them. Yep, five of these little silver plated coasters. I've got some of these little wood carved napkin rings. There's at least six, seven. Yeah, I think there were seven and I couldn't find the eighth one. Whatever. This is, oh, this is Sprinkles. She is from the, um, I don't remember what the set is called and her tail has been cut. Oh, I didn't notice. That's okay. That's okay. When you find generation one, My Little Ponies at the bins, you gotta, you gotta buy them or I have to buy them. But she's for me because I like her. Did you need something, honey? No, it was just like the signal. I'm going to tell you that Boomer was kind of okay. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> um, I also grabbed some of the um, jewelry that I found at the bottom of the bins, and I just kind of threw it in here. But I'll show you this first. This is a puzzle box, a locking like puzzle box thingy, and it actually had all the pieces, which I thought was amazing. Slip like an apple. And it's a little trinket box. It's an apple. And it locks together the puzzle box. Very sweet. I love that. Okay, now on to the jewelry. I've got this bracelet. I don't think it was marked, but it kind of looks like sterling, so we will see. No, probably not. I can see the copper underlayment, so this is not sterling. But it's cute. And it'll sell. I got a couple of little stretch bracelets. Nothing precious there either. This I thought was fun. Not marked or anything, but I love the look of it and the colors. It's just some really nice little seed beads all strung together. Great shape. What the heck? Then there are these three little pieces, pendants, earrings, I don't know, and I'm going to test them for silver because they look kind of silver and tarnished, and but I'm not sure, because I didn't look for a mark, I just grabbed them. So we will see. We'll go over there. Okay. Now, this cute little birdie hook. Wonderful spring decoration. I love it, it's very pretty. I grabbed this book, because I like old books in my booth. And this is Wonder Tales of Dogs and Cats by Francis Carpenter. It's a guild book. And I liked the illustrations in here. The illustrations are amazing. We won't go through it too much, but yeah, there's these guards trying to get all the rats. Yeah, it's a pretty book. I like it. Then there's, oh, you know what? I can't tell what trip to the bins these were. So this is like both trips to the bins all in one. I have another cup for our collection. It's a Tupperware cup, definitely needs cleaned. These are the stands to these. So that's what those are. I have another necklace here. And this one is from This is Premier Designs. So again, not anything too special, but it's cute. There's a carrot, it's like a paper mache carrot. And I've got two little boxes. What if they would have been planters. This one has a plastic lining in it still. This one does not. Oh look, this one was $19.99. Nice, good score. <laughs> This is a real heavy marble. 
rolling pin. Excuse me, I can't think of my words. Use your words. And yeah, it's cute. I like it. Heavy. And since that was so darn heavy, it was only a $2 item. I need to shift. Okay. I think I know how they got mixed up. Because um, when I brought them out to my car, I have boxes full of tissue paper. When I go and restock my booth, I have the boxes and the tissue paper that I use to bring stuff to my booth. And I put them back in the boxes and into my car so that I can pack up more in the same stuff and use it until it falls apart. But when I got my booth stuff back there, I wrapped it in there. And they got consolidated because they were in my car all week. So that's how. Okay. Adorable. This little box, little trinket drawers. Super cute. I may or may not paint that. It's cute. That was all. The rest of it is just mine. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it is my um, packing stuff. Great. So that was the bins trip or the two bins trips, unless I find more later, and then you can see that at a different time because I am not at all organized. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have another one up soon. Join me then. Thanks guys, bye-bye.